Hey everybody, PJ here. And I ended up going back to my original idea with the uh, Bionics. Now either, uh, the M-15, I think what it is. It says it'll run 20 hours on 9 volt battery at 50% duty cycle. And I put it in that little piece of PVC pipe with the caps and all that. And it's a lot smaller here. I'll show it. And I kept it just in case. <clears throat> I mean, quite a bit smaller. You know, I mean, you see that? So a 9 volt battery. And this right here, you can see where I've got the uh, antenna port. And then this right here is my switch. I can try to make it as waterproof as I can on that. Uh, so it's kind of got a little sealant there and then this little cap stays on here so i can just flip it on like that or turn it off like that so and a little antenna they sent me with it fits right in there and it just kind of it's pretty flexible so it just folds uh two six volt batteries wired in series here so uh 12 volts so it's four and a half uh amp hours probably overkill i mean i could probably get a smaller battery and put in here to last uh, i just like this setup because it's uh, it's rechargeable uh i don't have to keep buying nine volt batteries so i just have to make sure i maintain these uh and i do anyway because it's deer feeder batteries uh but basically you can see i've just got it all in there there's the uh the transmitter and then I've got this right here just to keep the batteries from coming sliding into it and then this keeps it all pushed so. so when you close it and you put the antenna on it and I might eventually paint it so I mean I can sit that out somewhere it's not as big as it is. Ooh. I don't like this little thing on the bottom though. It don't sit up real well. But I guess I can always lean it up against a tree. It's a lot bigger than that though. I did it again. But anyway. Yeah, I need to do something. I might glue me a piece on the back of that or take and cut these things off or something to make it where it'll actually. I don't know why they did that. Because you can't sit that thing up good like that. It sits up a little bit, but... It wants to fall. So let's turn it on. I still got the same settings from the other video where it's 30 seconds. So it's on now. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see. Not from here you can't. If you can see the radio. So 30 seconds. That right there should start going off. We'll see. It's been just a few seconds. And I think I said it for a minute in between. I, I need to play with that because. I don't know if that'll give you time enough to actually focus in on it or not, but. So then I just turn it off now. And like I say, I might paint it, camouflage it, you know, a little bit. I still got some paint kind of like this right here. But I figured this right here, even if I could find a smaller rechargeable battery between 9 and 14 volts, then it would be in its all in its see like with the other one I couldn't keep the antenna in there either so the antenna would have to stay on top of it which ain't that big a deal but with this one I can just stick it in there and fold it down like that and then it all stays right there inside that box I mean compared to it, it's pretty heavy it's a lot heavier than that but more power way more power and I don't know like I say I mean you'd have to go find it and turn it off surely you'd find one within 20 hours if that thing actually 
went that long. My fear is I'd have to buy a fresh battery every time <clears throat> you wanted to do it. And then by some chance, you know, you didn't time it just right or you had the duty cycle not right because they don't have like a setting in there for like 50% power or nothing like that. So uh, if he was running that thing constantly all day long, I don't know how long the 9 volt battery actually lasts. Uh, with this one, I don't think I have no problem. That would probably last days. The uh, thing's only 15 milliwatts going out, so I mean, it can't be too much power it's using. But that's it, just a waterproof box. I wish the switch, though. I mean, if I could find a better way to do that, but I mean, it works. I can get in there, you just gotta kind of push it down and over. You can hear it click. I just hope I ain't pushing on it too hard. I don't want to break it. But I'm trying to keep it as waterproof as I can. That way, if you're standing it up like that and it starts raining, you know, the antenna will cover this, but that right there needs to be covered. So, that's it. Uh, still ain't got to test it out, really. So, like I say, this one right here probably would have worked just fine for whatever. But, like I say, if I could find, see, I got this old, I got this battery. That's an old, old 12 volt. It's heavy. As, it's as heavy as those two 6 volts. Uh, it would take up less room in the box, but it's still heavy. I wish I could find, if I could find me a 12 volt battery that was about the size of one of them 6 volt batteries, that would be ideal. Then that would, man, I'd, <laughs> I'd have all kinds of room to put whatever I wanted to in there. Uh, you know, like the rope to hang it up in a tree or whatever you wanted. You know, just any little thing. But just wanted to show that I went another route with it. And I like to say, I kept this just in case I ever wanted to change it back. All I got to do is put it right back in there. Uh, sealing it up right here would be the, the biggest challenge, which same way on this one, but... All right, that's it. Y'all have a good day. AK4PJ.